Peleus, king of Thyia, was renowned in Greek mythology for his bravery and heroism. He was also the father of Achilles, one of the greatest warriors of all time, and married to the sea nymph Thetis. However, their union was a result of a prophecy that stated Thetis would bear a son greater than his father. To avoid any threat to his own authority, Zeus arranged for Thetis to marry a mortal man, and Peleus was the chosen one. Their relationship was not without its challenges, but they eventually overcame their differences and had a child together. Achilles went on to achieve legendary status in Greek history, but Peleus himself was no stranger to the field of battle. He had fought numerous dangerous creatures and monsters in his youth, including the infamous Caledonian boar. Peleus also played a crucial role in the quest for the Golden Fleece, aiding the hero Jason and his companions. Despite his accomplishments as a warrior and hero, Peleus is best remembered for his love for Thetis and for being the father of the mighty Achilles. His legacy and reputation have endured through the ages, cementing him as one of the great figures of Greek mythology. Peleus and his brother Telamon found themselves on the run after accidentally killing their half-brother Phocus during a hunting trip. They sought refuge in Thyia and Peleus married Antigone, the daughter of the ruler Eurytion. However, Peleus accidentally killed Eurytion during a hunt and had to leave Thyia once again. In an attempt to clear his name, Peleus was purified by Acastus in Iolcus. However, Astidamia, Acastus' wife, had fallen in love with Peleus and when he rejected her, she accused him of trying to rape her. This led to Antigone tragically taking her own life. To get revenge on Peleus, Acastus took him on a hunting trip and left him stranded on Mount Pelion, hiding his sword. As Peleus was about to be attacked by centaurs, Chiron or Hermes returned his sword, saving him. Peleus then sought revenge on Acastus and Astidamia, killing them and plundering Iolcus. The kingdom eventually fell to Thessalus, the son of Jason. After the tragic death of Antigone, Peleus, the son of Aeacus, decided to remarry. His new bride was Thetis, a sea nymph who initially refused his advances. However, with the help of Proteus, the shape-shifting god of the sea, Peleus was able to win over Thetis. Proteus instructed Peleus to hold on to Thetis tightly during all of her physical transformations until she finally yielded to his advances. The couple's wedding feast was a grand event attended by many of the Olympian gods who brought with them unique gifts for the happy couple. Poseidon gifted Peleus two immortal horses, Balias and Xanthus, while Hephaestus presented him with a magical knife. Aphrodite gave a bowl with an embossed eros, Hera gifted him a clamus, Athena a flute, and Nereus granted a basket full of divine salt with outstanding virtues for overeating, appetite, and digestion. Zeus presented Thetis with a special gift the Wings of Ark. However, Eris, the goddess of discord and strife, was not invited to the celebration and brought with her the infamous Apple of Discord. Her appearance started a quarrel that ultimately led to the judgment of Paris and eventually the Trojan War. Despite the drama, the union of Peleus and Thetis produced seven sons, but unfortunately, six of them died in infancy. The only surviving son was Achilles, the hero of the Trojan War, and the greatest warrior of all time. Thetis, a powerful Greek goddess, was determined to make her son Achilles invulnerable. She knew that he would be a great warrior, but she also knew that he had a vulnerable spot, his heel. She tried two different methods to protect Achilles from harm. Firstly, Thetis decided to dip Achilles into the magical river Styx. She held him by his heel and submerged him into the water. She believed that the river's magical properties would make her son invincible. Unfortunately, as she was holding onto Achilles' heel, that spot did not come into contact with the water, which left his heel as his only vulnerable spot. Unwilling to give up, Thetis tried another method. She anointed her son with ambrosia, the food of the gods, and placed him onto a fire to burn away his mortal parts. This would have made him immortal and invincible. However, before the process was complete, Thetis was interrupted by Peleus, Achilles' father. 
Both father and son were angry and upset at the interruption, and Thetis left them in a rage. As a result, Achilles' heel remained vulnerable. This story has similarities to the tale told by Plutarch in his work on Isis and Osiris, about the goddess Isis burning away the mortal parts of Prince Mineros of Byblos. Sadly, just like Prince Mineros, Achilles' vulnerability caused his demise. During the Trojan War, Achilles was shot in his vulnerable spot, the heel, by Paris, and this wound proved fatal. The term, Achilles' heel, is now used to refer to a person's most vulnerable spot. Despite this fatal wound, Achilles was a powerful warrior and is remembered as such. Peleus gave his son to the centaur Chiron to raise him on Mount Pelion, which was named after Peleus. And in the Iliad, Achilles is spoken of as using his father's spear and riding his father's immortal horses. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.